Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will discover the city by day and night. We are in the Bitexco Tower which has a sky deck, located on the 49th floor, where you have a 360 degree view of the city. The Skydex glass platform offers a unique experience. The feeling of being floating in the air at a height of 178 meters. We were enchanted by the sky deck, a must visit on a trip to Ho Chi Minh City. We are in the city in the world that has the most motorbikes in circulation. It has more than 7 million motorbikes for 9 million inhabitants. This is Cholin, part of the city better known as Chinatown, where we will visit the Hao Pagoda or Thien Hao Temple. It was built in 1760 by the Chinese community and dedicated to the Chinese goddess Mazu, also known as the Lady of the Sea, who protects fishermen, sailors and everyone who travels at sea. The entrance doors to the temple have a high bar on the floor that cannot be stepped on to force people to bow. The interior of the temple consists of a partially covered courtyard, at the end of which is the Mazu altar. In the exposed parts of the courtyard, there are several incense burners. Mazuism is syncretized, resulting from the fusion of the religions of Taoism and Chinese Buddhism. Mazu's altar is dominated by the three statues of the goddess. The faces are bronze in color and the clothes and crowns are multicolored. <laughs> the large bronze bell dates from 1830 and rings when donations are made to the temple. In this part of the city, Cholin, is the Binte Chinese market where we headed. 
progreso que hacemos ahora otra parada para visitar el mercado chinés. The market has an architecture that combines Chinese influences with French construction techniques. The Bin Tay Market, built in 1930 and where we can enjoy the flavors of local cuisine and buy exclusive souvenirs. In the center of the market is a refreshing courtyard, which acts as an oasis of tranquility in the midst of the hustle and bustle. Another attraction in Ho Chi Minh City is the Ben Than Market, one of the most popular in Vietnam. <coughs> Located in the central area of the city, this market is a must-visit destination. More than a place to shop, here we have opportunities for cultural and culinary exploration. We get an insight into the daily lives of the Vietnamese people. In culinary terms, we are presented with a wide variety of dishes from all regions of Vietnam. with countless shops selling everything from traditional Vietnamese hats, silk scarves, clothing to wooden crafts, lacquerware and ceramics, there are endless gift options to choose from. We also found very well-made replicas of clothes and shoes. <laughs> I'm really not used to seeing so many motorbikes parked or moving. The Jade Emperor Pagoda, another attraction not to be missed. In addition to its spiritual element, this pagoda possesses the beauty of ancient Chinese architecture. This pagoda is a popular sacred site because the Jade Emperor is considered by Vietnamese believers as the supreme god, to whom they pray for salvation or good luck.
the pagoda was built in the early 20th century by a Chinese man named Lu Min, who was Buddhist, Taoist and Confucian, to worship Buddha and the Jade Emperor. Let's now discover Ho Chi Minh by night. The Ho Chi Minh City Central Post Office, built at the end of the 19th century. Inside, in the center, hangs a huge portrait of President Ho Chi Minh. The Opera House, built in the 19th century, is a magnificent landmark of French colonial architecture. We watched a fantastic bamboo circus show at Osho which unfortunately was not allowed to be filmed. The excellent team that performed the show. The Opera House is a short distance from Nguyen Hu Walking Street where we now head. At one end of this walking street is the beautiful City Hall building. With the statue of President Ho Chi Minh in front of it. Nguyen Hu Walking Street is a vibrant promenade that stretches almost 800 meters from the Saigon River to the City Hall. The street hosts various events and is a perfect place to stroll and enjoy the city's lively atmosphere. Wow! It's impressive to see the Vietnamese playing badminton with their feet. Impeccable, another event taking place on this incredible street.
One of the highlights of this street is the Café Apartment Building. A unique structure that houses several cafes on different floors. We went up a few floors in the Café Apartment to one of the cafes to have a panoramic view. Panoramic view of the fantastic Nguyen Hu Walking Street. Let's now go to Bui Vien Street, the street where everything happens. It's where people gather to have a drink or dance. There's no shortage of fun, as the large colorful signs announce. It is one of the city's main tourist attractions. Known as Backpacker Street, it has a variety of bars, restaurants, shops and affordable hotels. friends waiting for me to drink some beers. I hope you enjoyed this tour. I loved it. If you liked the video, put a like and subscribe. It's very important to help the channel grow. Thank you for watching.